What's up everyone, this is Ryan and I'm back with another video. Today I have an old school throwback box of 1995 Playoff Prime. So I got this on eBay um, for about $30 shipped total. Uh, the box looks like it's in really good shape here. The reason I got this is mostly just for fun. Um, these cards aren't worth a lot and there aren't a ton of inserts. There's um, three of them here, and I think they're pretty hard to pull. Uh, the, at least the pigskin previews, the fantasy teams, and the unsung heroes are hard to pull. Uh, I think you'll probably get a couple of the minis that actually look really cool and really great. Um, and then uh, this is 95 was the first year of the, the Jaguars and the Panthers, so there's special cards for those, I believe. So like I've said before, with old boxes, you always have to worry about whether the cards are going to stick or not, um, if they're going to brick up. And I did watch a couple of videos of this, which I'd always recommend before you buy one. And it does look like they do tend to stick a little bit, but I'm rolling the dice here. Um, and based on the way this box looks, I think that there's a chance it could be in good shape, just because if the box is in good shape, it probably was stored properly and wasn't sitting in a shed somewhere in Florida humidity or something like that. So let's get to it. So this uh, set does not have a huge checklist. It's 200 cards total, and I believe there were um, somewhere around 24 rookies, so not a lot of rookies. There's no Terrell Davis. The only Hall of Fame rookie that's in this is Warren Sapp. Um, some of the other rookies that we're looking for are uh, Steve McNair, Tony Baselli, Kerry Collins, uh, Jeff Blake, some of the other quarterbacks that were okay but not great. Otherwise, we're just looking for Hall of Famers, uh, Standard, Jerry Rice, Emmett, um, Steve Young, Dan Reno, those kind of guys. The back packs look really good, and let's get going. First pack. Okay, I can feel they're a little stuck, but not all the cards are, so that's not bad. Packs are a little hard to open too. So this is what they look like. Nice kind of foil design. Actually, I think the box here says 1995 playoff is dedicated to the memory of our friend William H. Feldman, the inventor of Tech Chrome. So I'm guessing these are some kind of Tech Chrome cards. And they're kind of a thicker stock too, which is nice. Alright, so these first two are stuck together just a bit. But we have Ben Coates, Bam Morris. James Jett, which I always thought was a great name for a wide receiver. And this one's stuck just a little bit. Rod Woodson, good player. Rodney Hampton, Eric Turner, Frank Sanders, and Eric Metcalf. So overall, that they didn't stick too bad, and they look like they're in pretty good shape. This one's kind of got some... I don't know if that's just the card or if that's the surface. The rest of them look, look really good. Next pack. Bryant Young, Glenn Milborn, Dave Brown, there's a rookie, Jeff Blake. Gary Brown, Sean Dawkins, Andre Risen, and James Stewart. Rookie. That's the first good card. Got a John Elway on the front. Put him aside. Brian Mitchell, OJ McDuffie. Charles Haley was a good player. Garrison Hurst. Uh, Darren Carrington. Kyle Brady, rookie. And Brent Jones. Craig 
Hayward, just stuck a little bit. Let's see, we have some kind of insert here. Uh, Vaughn Heron, Terrence Mathis, oh, I've got a mini. A James Miller mini. Look at the nice shine on those. Those look awesome. That side. And then, Unsung Heroes, Tim Bowens. So the Unsung Heroes checklist is not great. Uh, not a lot of big names, I think that's kind of the point. There was one with Michael Strahan, which would be the best one to get, I think. Um, otherwise, it's a lot of more no-name guys. Craig Erickson, David Klinger, and Napoleon Kaufman, running back for the Raiders. He was supposed to be the next big thing. Didn't quite work out. Card on the top. We're kind of stuck on this pack. But Jerry Rice. There we go. Don't see any paper loss though, which is good. Set that one aside. We'll put Deion Sanders next to him. Uh, Lewis Tillman. LaShawn Johnson. Ronnie Harmon. Leonard Russell. Robert Brooks, and Fred Barnett. A oh, nice one on top here too, Barry Sanders. Card looks like it's in great shape. So like I've said before, the nostalgia with these 90 cars I think is just going to continue to grow and there's going to be a market for PSA 10s of just base cards. Um, there aren't that many. The population on like uh, play, uh, Playoff Prime is pretty low. Uh, there's not a lot of these out there and some people that just start are starting to collect just base cards of PSA 10s. So. And some people have been for a while, but it just seems like that's been kind of a growing market. It's not like you're going to get rich off of them. You're not, you're, you know, they're not worth thousands of dollars, but um, you can make your money back on one card for the box. Since this is a $30 box, there's a Rob Johnson rookie card. You know, you get a PSA 10 Barry Sanders, you might be able to sell it for 30 or 40 bucks. And that covers the box, and then any additional cards you get graded are just playing on top of that. And they do look nice. I, I like the look of these cards. They're, they're simple, but they're at least solid and sturdy cards. And I think they could grade well. Like the surface seems pretty good on all these, and the edges are, are nice. I don't see any dings really. This one has a little bit of one, but um, for the most part, they've looked pretty good so far. So Lake Dawson, Jim Everett. Jeff George, Bert Emanuel, Joey Galloway rookie card. It's one of the nicer ones. And we got Rod Smith on the back. But let me flip this off. Greg Truitt. And who we stuck to? Frank Reich on the back. Just trying to be kind of careful with them. See just a little tiny bit of paper loss, but nothing too bad. And not too worried about a Frank Reich. Next pack. Roosevelt Potts. There's a good one, Marshall Falk, second year card. Side. Jeff Graham, Sherman Williams rookie card, Mark Ingram, Tyrone Poole, Steve Perline. And this card is stuck. Oh, it's a Brett Favre, so I'm going to be kind of careful here. I'm trying to pull slowly. Looks like it pulled off nicely. I don't see too much here, but. A little bit of edge stuff on that one.
Johnny Johnson, Darnay Scott, card stuck here, Boomer Esiason, Michael Westbrook was a good wide receiver for a while for the Redskins, Chad May, rookie card, Rob Moore, and Calvin Williams. So again, not a lot of inserts in this set. Um, I, they don't post the odds on here. I wonder if the pack, uh, actually the packs do post the odds. So um, playoff fantasy team one in 25. Playoff minis are one in seven. Unsung heroes one in 13. Uh, Carolina Panthers draft pick one in 288. And a Jacksonville Jaguar draft pick one in 288. So those are pretty rare. I don't even know if I know what those look like. Um, and the, the pigskin preview cards are super rare too, 1 in 145. So not looking to get a lot of inserts, a couple of the minis, maybe a couple of the heroes, and the maybe one fantasy team. Those are stuck pretty good. Drew Bledsoe. Kevin Green. Bates, Michael Hayes, Derek Russell, Russell Copeland, and Mark Carrier. I think we have a mini in this one. Ken Norton, nice Reggie White. Kevin Williams, Benny Parmalee, damn look how cool those cards are, not the biggest name though, but we'll take it, Mark Shepard, there we go, oh, Warren Sapp, unfortunately that one's got a little bit of stuff on it, but still take it, Brian Blades, and Chris Chandler. Nice Steve Young on the front. Did have a little bit of paper loss on that, unfortunately, with another Hall of Famer, Tim Brown, on the bat on behind him. Yeah, this pack is stuck pretty good. Ooh, and followed by a Troy Aikman as well. Bummer. Dan Wilkinson. Tyrone Wheatley, rookie card. There we go, Steve McNair, rookie card. That one looks pretty good, but stuck a little bit. That's a nice one. Might be the best one we've gotten so far. Irving Fryer and Rashawn Salam, another running back that was supposed to be a big deal and had the old fumble problems for the Bears. All right, Thomas Lewis, Antonio Langham, Johnny Morton. Chunk. Todd Collins, rookie card. And Dave Craig. Nice Warren Moon. Uh, Terrell Fletcher, rookie card. He is stuck to, looks like, Cornelius Bennett. Jameer Miller, Tyus Weenus, Pete Metzalaris, and Ricky Waters. Then Quinn Early, who's really stuck to Terry Kirby, who's really stuck to Raymond Harris, and the back card is Rick Meyer. 
other guy that was supposed to be the next big thing, and it just did not work out for him. Yeah, it seems like the further we're getting into these packs, the more they're sticking. Cody Carlson, Dana Stubblefield, nice Jim Kelly, a little bit of paper loss there. Charles Johnson, and we do have an insert here too. There are two of them. First one is a it says Jackie Slater, Unsung Heroes. And then behind that, oh nice. That is awesome. This is a Dan Marino Fantasy Stars card. So again, the odds on that one were Fantasy team, excuse me, one in 25. So that's a really cool card. Only gonna get one per box, and I know some of the names on there weren't the best. Most of them were good names, but can't go wrong with something like that. Card looks like it's in pretty good shape. You never really know on these acetate type cards. Nothing on the back, but I think that one will clean up nicely. Gorgeous card. I'm gonna sleeve that up too. cards in that pack. Reggie Cobb and Harold Green. I think we have a mini in this one. And they're super stuck. Neil Smith. Harvey Williams. I'm just going to try to be careful here depending on who the players are. Butts on the back. Willie Rolf. Willie Davis. Back to back Willies. And then this was Carnell Lake. And our mini, I think, is another. It's a Mel Gray. Not the biggest name. Okay player, but not what we're looking for. And we have a Shana Sharp on the back. Not a good player. Baselli. That one looks okay. There's a little bit of stuff there at the top, but it is stuck to this one behind him. Jack Trudeau behind him. Tony Baselli should probably be in the Hall of Fame. I think he his, in, his career ended early with injuries and, and just retired a little shorter than most people, but I think everyone that knows what they're talking about knows that he was a stud tackle and offensive lineman. Okay, Herman Moore, Sean Jefferson, and Lawrence Dossie. Get through probably five more packs. Hopefully we'll get just one more insert. Got pretty much everyone that we've wanted to get. For an Emmett. Natron Means. Uh, Rocket Ishmael. Quadre Ishmael. Back to back Ishmaels. Nice Junior Seau. Michael Timpson. Alvin Harper. Marcus Allen. Joe Montana in the back late in their careers. And another running back from that draft that didn't work out too well, Kajana Carter. There's Emmett. Right on the front. He is stuck a little bit. Yeah, 
did have a little bit of paper loss down there at the bottom. Still nice. Trent Dilfer. Carl Pickens. Derek Alexander's behind him. Stuck really hard. Uh, Leroy Horde. Tony Martin. Steve Bono. Eric Green. Reggie Brooks. Ooh. Andre Reed. Stan Humphreys. Larry Centers. Bad paper loss on that one. Another unsung heroes here. This is Todd Reach Rucci. Scott Mitchell. Irving Spikes. And Mel Gray. Just a couple more packs. To go. Okay, now this pack they're not too stuck. For some reason. Keith Schuler, Derek Brown, David Palmer, William Floyd, Tommy Maddox, Mr. XFL, Eric Pigram, Sam Adams, and Joe Montana on the back. It's a little bit of stuff on there, but Looks nice. In the Chiefs uniform. Nice Bruce Smith on the front. Stuck pretty bad. Curtis Conway. Billy McGinnis. Daryl Moose Johnson, J.J. Stokes was another wide receiver that was played for the Niners next to Jerry Rice. Had an okay few years and then kind of fizzled out. Jimmy Harbaugh, Mr. Michigan, Edgar Bennett, and Jake Reed. Last two packs. Ooh, major crunch. Verdi, Chuck Levy, Chris Warren, which he, I thought I always thought he was underrated as a running back. He was always up there in rushing yards just about every year there in the 90s next to Emmett. Bernie Parmalee, Lorenzo White, Horace Copeland, Barry Foster, and Kenneth Davis. Last pack of Mojo. Let's go. Alright, the bus. Jerome Bettis. Not bad. Prime. Uh, Michael Irvin. The Cowboys. He is super stuck. To Neil O'Donnell. The team they played in the Super Bowl in 95. Here we go. There's a little bit better card, but not great. Carl Pickens, good wide receiver for the Bengals. Steve Anderson. There's a Kerry Collins rookie card. It's nice. Let's see if we can not have him get stuck too much. Uh, Cedric Tillman in the back. And Mark Say. All right, so just real quick recap. The big card was the Dan Marino acetate see-through card. One in 25 packs, looks great, awesome card. 
I'll probably take a look at it and probably try to get degraded. Even as a nine, there might be a market for it. Um, it you know, you never know how they're gonna grade the edges of something like this, but I think it looks good. I wonder about the centering. Looks like it might be off centering, but you never really know. Then other than that, there were quite a few of these minis. No big name minis though, unfortunately. I think I got three of them, four of the minis. That look awesome. It'd be great to get a big name one, but didn't happen. And quite a few Hall of Famers. Elway, Michael Irving, Jerome Bettis, Joe Montana, Emma Smith, Marcus Allen. We have the Tony Baselli rookie card. We have these unsung hero cards of unsung heroes. <laughs> uh, Jim Kelly, Steve McNair rookie card, Troy Aikman, Tim Brown, Steve Young, Reggie White, Brett Favre, Marshall Falk, Barry Sanders, Deion Sanders, Jerry Rice, which looks really good. And then one more unsung hero. So three unsung heroes, four of the minis, and then the one fantasy team card. Overall, I think it was pretty good. I mean, it's 30 bucks, so not breaking the bank. And I um, really like what I got. Uh, so with that, I'll leave you with the question of the day, which is what draft pick did you think was going to be a star that turned out to be a huge bust? We talked about a couple with the running backs, with Rashawn Salam and uh, some of the other guys in that class. Um, so what do you think? Uh, which one was the guy that you thought would be a surefire star that wasn't? And with that, uh, like, subscribe, and comment below, and I'll see you next time.